Hi, my name is Chelsea Rowe. I am a multimedia artist based in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I'm part of the staff at Florida Craft Art. Today, I am going to go over a few tips for filming yourself in your studio as an artist. Going over giving a nice personal message that you can send out as a thank you to someone who has bought your work, something you can put on your website as an about me, just something that's a little bit more personal to where someone who's watching it can really get to know you as a person as well as an artist. You can really easily film yourself in a professional way only while using a few things that I'm sure you probably already have on hand. So all you really need is a camera, so some kind of you could use a DSLR if you have one, but I'm shooting on my phone. Here are the basics for filming yourself in your studio. My setup is inside of my studio. I'm actually sitting on the floor. Uh, I'm a bit of a maximalist, so there's a lot going on in my studio sort of all at once. So I've chosen uh, this inspiration wall that I have with a few pieces. I decided that this would be a good backdrop for me um, because it says a lot about my work and this is also an opportunity for you when you're choosing where to film that you can give a little bit of a preview of the kind of work that you make. I'm also wearing a, a solid color shirt. Um, there's no logos on my shirt and it's usually a good idea not to wear pure white or pure black because sometimes that can mess with the exposure on the camera. I also have my lighting set up. I have just a lamp right here pointing it's above me so that my face is lit up from this side but i'm also sitting in front of a nice big window that i have in my studio natural lighting across the board is the easiest thing to work with because it's nice and diffused it's very even if you have a more professional setup in your studio like if you document your work and you have some nice big cold lights those work great. If you have some kind of large ring light, those that works really great. Mostly what you want is a nice wide diffused lighting source. It's always a great idea to have a trusty tripod on hand. So one that is able to go nice and high, one that's able to go nice and low so that you can really play with how you are shooting in your space. The thing to remember is to have the camera nice and level with where you are so that you see your face, your shoulders, and you're framed nicely. Another thing that's really helpful to have is an attachment that will hook onto your phone that pinches the phone into place so that it's not moving around. You can film without a tripod, set it somewhere, maybe lean it up against a bookcase, something like that, so that it's not moving around with you and making everybody feel sick. Another thing that is extremely important that a lot of people forget to do is to tip the phone to the side to film in landscape format. Here's an example of what happens when you film vertically. Another technical thing to remember is to put your phone in airplane mode if you're shooting with a phone. This will make sure that phone calls don't come in and text messages don't come in while you're filming so that you know your video clips get messed up. It's really frustrating if you filmed an awesome, nice, long video clip and then it cuts off at the end because you got a phone call right in the middle of it. Right now, I am actually not using a microphone because my room is nice and quiet and there's not a whole lot of background noise. If you live with other people, making sure that they know that you're filming. Make sure that if you have an AC that's on auto, that it's not kicking on, you don't have a loud fan that's distracting in the background. This is less controllable, but being aware of things like planes flying overhead or birds outside, things like that. Using a microphone often will help you with this, but if you're trying to keep this video nice and simple, then it's not entirely necessary. And I'll go over the basics of using a microphone if you choose to do so. A really simple microphone that you can use, it's called a lavalier microphone. And it's the type that is really great for interviews if you're not moving around too much. So in this situation, it would be perfect because I'm not walking around, I'm not moving the tripod very much. So it's a really simple microphone that will just clip under your shirt like this. And again, it's not plugged in. As I'm sure you can tell, the sound is very different with a microphone plugged in. It centers all of the sound to your voice. This microphone is specifically designed to work with a phone. 
this line that usually you would feed under the shirt, it fits directly into the headphone jack of your phone. If you have a newer phone, you probably would need a headphone extender cable to plug into the end of the microphone. Another type of microphone you can use actually are earbud headphones. Most of the time these days, headphones come with this little attachment in the middle of the cord. So this is actually a microphone. This is really helpful if there's a lot of sound going on in the room around you. Again, just like the, the lavalier microphone. But the added bonus of this is that you can't hear anything that's going around you either. Sometimes you have the tendency to yell when you have headphones in. Well, the only problem with this is that obviously they are very visible. But this is always another option. One of the wonderful things about filming on a phone is that if you rehearse it ahead of time and you've practiced what you're gonna say, you are able to make your video in one single shot and you're ready to share it from there. Say what you need to say, start and stop on the camera, and then you're done. First off, what do you want people to know about you and your art? At Florida Craft Art, we like to ask our artists a few questions to prompt those answers. Where are you from originally? Give a brief explanation of your work. Why did you choose this medium? And lastly, what inspires you? And what inspires your work? If you have any questions on how to promote yourself, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll put my contact info in the description. We at Florida Craft Art, our main mission is to support artists. So we are here for you and we're so excited to see what you guys come up with. Lastly, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so happy to be able to reach out and help people promote themselves virtually. It's a really important thing in the times that we are in today to be able to have an online presence and to keep in touch with people that maybe otherwise you wouldn't be able to keep in touch with by sharing your story, sharing your work, and sharing yourself in general with people. So thank you very much and happy filming!